What if you were in this bed in my cardiac care unit? You would want the doctors and nurses to work together and consider your choices in the care that you want to receive. Now look at this picture. There is something, someone missing from the ward round. Where is the nurse? A nurse is not in the room. Now a nurse is there to advocate your needs to the ward round team and to be involved in the decisions about your care so that you receive quality care and you understand your treatment plan. Now, I'm trying to create a culture of bringing everyone together with my PhD, and that includes all the doctors and nurses that I'm working with. But our, we, the cardiac nurses, are so busy following hospital demands and delivering patient care that we no longer have as many opportunities to discuss your needs with the doctors or to even be involved in decision making. Now we have three of these ward rounds going around seeing their patients every morning, all at the same time. But we only have one cardiac trained nurse available to attend all three ward rounds, and that nurse cannot be in three places at once. We also have delays in the delivery of patient care. Did you know it takes so long for a decision to be made about recommencing a cardiac medication that we have to wake our patients up at midnight to give them their pills? I want to make sure that our patients receive quality care at the right time. So I designed a ward round study to improve patient participation and improve our culture through situational awareness, which means everyone has a say and we aren't just listening to the most senior doctor's advice. Now in this design, I made sure nurse was in that picture. I gave them a pro forma and a checklist to update and complete each day. I also gave them opportunities both inside and outside of the ward round to get together and discuss plans throughout the day, which included the after-hours staff and keeping the patients informed. Now, I did this for 100 patients, and I compared my results with 100 patients who did not receive the new ward round. My results showed that you can empower nurses to make effective decisions so that those patients did receive their pills before they went to sleep at night. They had less fasting because procedures were booked earlier. They had less bed rest and more patient education. But wait, there is more. My next study is going to create a patient suffering score to evoke more empathy for our patients and to further enhance our decision making. So I hope if you are ever in my unit that you have a nurse in this picture so that your needs are addressed and your nurse speaks up and makes decisions so you receive quality care at the right time.